In the 2014 film Captain America, the Winter Soldier one of the major plot points revolves around the government organization SHIELD being infiltrated and corrupted from the inside by Nazi scientist Dr. Armin Zola. Former Russian KGB agent Natasha Romanoff, also known as the Black Widow, states that Zola was brought to America as part of a post-war government program called Operation Paperclip. Operation Paperclip was devised by the Office of Strategic Services after the end of the Second World War. It was a plan to recruit German scientists to work for the United States in exchange for amnesty for the atrocities they had a hand in helping the Nazi party commit during the war. President Harry Truman did not formally order the execution of Operation Paperclip until August 1945. Truman's order expressly excluded anyone found to have been a member of the Nazi party and more than a nominal participant in its activities, or an active supporter of Nazi militarism. Scientists recruited by the operation included V-2 rocket engineers Arthur Rudolph and Kurt H. Debus, a man who would go on to become the first director of the Kennedy Space Center. In addition to rocket engineers the operation also saw fit to recruit Hubertus Trihold a Nazi physician who is on record as performing human experiments in Dachau concentration camp. These experiments included dunking concentration camp inmates into freezing water, forcing victims into a low air pressure chambers, and invasive surgical procedures. The most well-known of the over 100 scientists recruited by the American government was Dr. Werner von Braun, a German rocket engineer space architect, and leading figure in the development of rocket technology in Germany during the war. Each of these men were previously classified as a menace to the security of the Allied forces. Von Braun worked on the United States Army Intermediate Range Ballistic Missile Program before his group was assimilated by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. In NASA he served as the chief architect of the Saturn V-A launch vehicle. The superbooster that was used in the Apollo spacecraft's first successful manned mission to the moon. How does it feel knowing that your government aided and abetted known war criminals? Where is the line between reality and fiction? You be the judge. But before you make your decision, maybe you should ask yourself one question. What would Captain America think?